In today's video, I'm going to show you the full process I follow to create thumbnails just like these, so you can too. Let's jump straight in. Step 1. Using ChatGPT The first thing I do is head into ChatGPT, where I'll create the background for my thumbnail, with something relevant to the video topic. For example, for an AI-related video, I could type in something along the lines of, create me an image of a robot working on a computer. Within seconds, ChatGPT will generate a cool image relevant to my prompt in which I can then download. If the image isn't quite right, I can simply type generate something alternative and the AI will create me a new image until I get one I'm happy with. Step 2. Using Photoshop Although ChatGPT does a great job for creating pretty much anything I request, it'll always provide me with an image in a square format. And we all know that YouTube thumbnails are in that classic landscape format. So after I've downloaded the image I'm happy with from ChatGPT, I'll then head into Adobe Photoshop and I'll create a new landscape project which Photoshop actually has a preset for. Next, I'll simply drag my ChatGPT image into the Photoshop project and I usually position it on the left side of the canvas. After my image is in position, I'll select the lasso tool to create a selection around the white space that needs filling. After my selection has been made, I'm going to click the generative fill option where AI will do its magic once again and fill the space to create my landscape image. We can also add prompts into the generative fill if we want to add something else, so feel free to experiment with different ideas. Now that I've got my landscape image, I'll go to File Export and I'll do Quick Export as PNG, where I'll then take my image into the next software. Step 3. Taking face images Before I head into the final software, I like to add an image of my face into my thumbnails, as I find that the click-through rate is a little higher on my content if the thumbnail features a face. For this step, I use a ring light as it provides good enough lighting, whilst also being able to hold my phone when it comes to taking the images. The particular ring light I use also comes with a handy Bluetooth switch I can use to take the photos on my iPhone hands-free. I'll leave a link for the light down in the description box below. A lot of YouTubers enjoy pulling really cringy over exaggerated expressions for their thumbnails, but personally, I just prefer a simple smile and maybe a thumbs up, and that does the trick for me. Once I have a photo I'm happy with, I use the airdrop feature on my iPhone to easily transfer it to my Mac within a couple of taps. Step 4. Using DaVinci Resolve Now that I have my AI-generated image in a landscape format, along with a photograph of my face, I head into DaVinci Resolve to layer up the elements which will create my final thumbnail. You could of course use Photoshop to layer everything up, and to be honest, if you're pretty confident in using Photoshop, then I'd recommend using that or the Resolve. I simply use Resolve for this process as I know the software inside out, so it keeps things speedy for me. I'll use the tracks on the edit page to layer things up, the bottom track being my AI-generated background, then working my way up for the other elements I can add on top. When I bring my face photo in, I reduce its opacity to around 50%, so I can position where my face will be against the AI-generated background. I also use position and scaling tools in the inspector tab to adjust my face into the perfect position. Once I'm happy with the position of my face, I put the opacity back up to 100% and head into the colour tab. This is where I use the magic mask tool just here and I'll do a rough squiggle across the part of the photo I want to keep, which in this case is my face and torso. I'll then create an alpha output channel up here in the node graph to create an alpha channel on the magic mask node. This will remove the rest of the image other than what I selected. I can further refine the selection by selecting the better option here and moving the scale up on refine range. We can also create additional nodes in the graph by pressing Option and S or Alt and S on Windows where we can apply other refinements to things like skin tone or teeth whitening if we wish to do so, but that'll be for another video. Another little trick I like to do on my own thumbnails is creating a subtle white border around myself just to make it pop a little more. To do this, I'm going to head back into the edit page and right click my image within the timeline to turn it into a compound clip, only after I've made all the adjustments in the colour page. Now it's a compound clip, I'm going to hold Alt or Option on Windows to create two copies of the compound clip just underneath our original one. I'm also going to colour these as something different so I know which ones I need to adjust again in just a moment. I'm then going to head back into the colour page and select one of the compound clips I just changed the clip colour of. On the colour wheels tab, I'm going to whack the lift here all the way up to turn it into a piercing white silhouette. I'm then going to select the other clip that I coloured and do the exact same thing. So now we have two copies of these white silhouettes. Once we've made those adjustments, I'm going to head back into the edit page where I'll select one of the white silhouette clips and then use the position controls to move it slightly to the left and then I'll select the other one and move it slightly to the right. We've now created this kind of white glow behind me that'll help things pop a little better on my thumbnail. 
You have the freedom to add customized text or even more elements within the timeline if you wish to do so. It's your thumbnail after all, so feel free to get creative. Once we're happy with the final thumbnail, we can head back into the color page and right click on the image viewer where we'll see grab still. Give that a click, then open up the gallery tab at the top. You'll see your final thumbnail, which you can then right click and select export, where you'll be able to choose the export location and format of your final thumbnail. And there we have it. We've put together an engaging thumbnail using a variety of AI tools, even featuring our own face. Now, how about an AI tool that actually creates full videos? Videos is the online video creator that can create any type of video through either our wide range of templates or our incredible AI assistant, Vidibot. Just tell Vidibot what kind of video you want and the AI will piece together a full storyboard based on your prompt, which you'll then be able to tweak and customize. You can try videos completely free today just by following the link in the description box below. Thanks very much for watching and as always, happy creating. Thank you.